So this is my last video over the algebra of functions. And what we want to do here is we want to actually apply this process into a real life application. So in economics, functions that involve revenue, cost, and profit are used. Of course, it's a money problem. Everybody loves a money problem. For example, suppose that R of X denote the total revenue meaning the total amount of money that you're bringing in, and C of X denotes the total cost, meaning the total amount of money that you're spending in the first place. Then the difference, so R of X minus C of X, or our revenue minus our cost, represents P of X, or our profit function, when we are using X units in the first place. Okay. So in this example here, they give us that our revenue equation is defined as 60x minus 0.4x squared. So that's defined as the money that we're bringing in if we are referencing x as a number of units. Our C of x, then our cost function, is 3x plus 13. So that's the amount of money that we have spent out of our pocket. Again, x represents the number of units. So we want to figure out what P of X is. We want to figure out what our profit function is going to be. Well, profit is defined as the amount of money that you're bringing in, the revenue, subtracting the amount of money that you spent, the cost. So this is just how you use the algebra of functions. My revenue is defined to be 60X minus 0.4X squared, subtracting my cost function, 3X plus 13. Notice again, I substituted these functions in parentheses, which is absolutely necessary here because this subtraction goes to both parts there. So this gives me 60x minus 0.4x squared minus 3x minus 13, since we distributed that negative to both parts there. So writing this in descending order and combining like terms, this gives me negative 0.4x squared. 60 minus 3 gives me a positive 57x minus 13. So this is defined as our profit as a function of x when we are using x units. So there's my answer there. Now we want to know what's the profit if you are selling I'm assuming selling here, it doesn't specifically say selling or manufacturing or producing or something along those lines. What's our profit if we are selling or manufacturing or producing 100 units? Well, we just came up with our profit equation. So what we need to do then is we need to substitute that 100 into that profit equation. So P of 100 is equal to negative 0.4 times 100 squared plus 57 times 100 minus 13. So 100 squared gives me 10,000, one followed by four zeros. And when I multiply that by my negative 0.4, I move my decimal place over. So that simplifies to be negative 4,000 plus 5,700 here. Just add my two zeros minus 13. So when I add all these together, that gives me 1687. So that tells me my profit of utilizing 100 units is $1,687. Of course, we are in dollars because we're talking about profit. So we would be making $1,687 here. Now, we can actually do part B without doing part A first, if you would have liked. And that's like the first example that I showed you under this section here. I could have figured my revenue of 100 units, meaning the amount of money that we brought in, by substituting 100 in for there. And that simplifies to be 2,000, skipping all the work. And also, finding out my cost of 100 units is, by substituting 100 into my cost function, and that would have given me 313, skipping all my steps there. 
So then when I subtract these, my revenue of 100 minus my cost of 100 gives me 2,000 minus 313. And of course, that gives us the same answer that we got over here. So that's a way that you could have double-checked your answer, or that's a way that you could have done Part B without doing Part A first. But I do want to point out the most frequently missed mistake here because I see it quite often. This is revenue minus cost. So we want to make sure that we distribute this negative here, which means we would have a negative 13 here, which would give me this value here. And that is, again, what the biggest mistake is of this problem. So if you are a owner of a business or if you're trying to manage a business, you're always trying to come up with the biggest profit. Well, you know it's now defined as your revenue minus your cost. And if you have those two functions, this is how you can simplify it from there and figure out how much money your company would be making.